to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. You're watching HQ BMW and today we're going to be talking about my 2018 BMW M3. This Silverstone M3 is one of my favorite BMW colors. In some lights it looks silver and some lights it looks blue. It's got the 19 inch 437M wheels, 255-35-19 tires in the fronts, and 275-35-19 tires in the rear. Very nice combination. It comes with the lighting package which has the adaptive LED headlights one of my absolute favorite pieces of a BMW. It has that iconic BMW hood which covers the heart of the beast. Iconic M3 M mirrors. It has the lightweight carbon fiber roof which is absolutely just incredible. The carbon fiber from the BMW factory is flawless. It also has the LCI tails, LED tail lights, which is a great addition. Quad tip exhaust with valves, of course, when you open up in sport mode. One of my favorite combinations. Silverstone carbon fiber roof. So that's the basic exterior of my M3. Obviously, big plans, big changes on their way. Coming shortly, we're just waiting for some stuff to be delivered and then we can start modifying the M3. Now, let's head into the driver's seat where the best seat of the house is. So as you can tell, it has a beautiful gauge cluster nice and clean and bright. The car now has 16,616 kilometers on it. I've been driving it quite a bit back and forth from work. This BMW comes with the iDrive 6 which is a little bit different than my previous BMWs. We have media, communication, navigation, connected drive. It's working. Here's actually what is happening in Calgary's weather currently. My vehicle stats, notifications. The navigation has traffic info, so it tells you how the roads are, what traffic is like, and it will route accordingly for your trips. This model of BMW also has Apple CarPlay, so you can search for an address on your phone, and it will actually display it on screen. So you can use either the vehicle's navigation or your phone's. The interior is all leather with carbon fiber accents everywhere. Again, the carbon fiber is incredible. The vehicle is equipped with a 7-speed DCT transmission. So... This took a little getting used to because there's no park button. You leave it in gear, you push the start stop button and it goes into park mode all by itself. 
The car is equipped with the BMW M Sport seats. The actual M3 in the seats light up. Tell me how that is just not freaking cool. If you're not familiar with the BMW M car, it has actually an M1 and M2 button. In your vehicle, you can actually configure what the M1 and M2 buttons do and how they're configured. You can have DSC off, engine in sport, sport plus efficient. You can have your steering in the same sport plus, sport or comfort. Transmission, how the DCT shifts, whether it's uh, smoother or it is like super hard. And on your heads up display, it will actually show you the RPMs and speed and gear that you are in. Very cool. Here is what the normal heads up display looks like and there is what the M view heads up display looks like. So it's got your tachometer and shows which gear and everything you're in. Very cool, super cool feature. <laughs> beast it has some more carbon fiber accents under the hood top mount intercooler this car is got the same inline six three liter engine that the f30 had but this is the s55 it is also twin turboed so it is producing a whopping 431 horsepower. It is a beast. For all that go, you need to be able to stop. This vehicle is equipped with the BMW M Sport brakes, which boasts a whopping 370 millimeter front disc. It is a beast and it stops like a beast. Same brakes are actually on my F30 because I had the M package on that car. Brakes are incredible. Difference with this is it has the drilled rotors in it to dissipate the heat a lot quicker. Storage space of the M3, very, very similar to the F30. So, in the bottom storage compartment, we have front license plate mount. We don't need those in Canada, so they never get used. We have a cargo net to keep things tied down. We have the extra lug bolts from where the lock bolts went in. It also comes with a nice bag and has 
uh, extra quart of oil with some funnels and some rags to clean up your hands if you've make, made a mess. One of the things I have to mention is in the actual BMW X1, it also come with uh, extra quart of oil as well. We also have included a BMW first aid kit, just in case you're out on the road or on the track and something happens, somebody falls and slips and bunks their head, we got some stuff to take care of them. So, pretty handy. This is actually pretty good to have in your vehicle anytime because you just can never be too prepared. Because all BMWs do not come with a spare tire, they all naturally run run flat tires on them so that if you do have a flat tire you just take it to your local BMW retailer and they'll help you out. Typically with run flats you don't repair them, you actually have to have the tire changed and replaced. There has been instances where people have repaired uh, run flats and it's not ended well. So BMW provides you with the run flat tires and in, in the case of emergency, it also has some tire sealant that you can put into your tire. And then they actually provide a BMW compressor. So you can, with these two things, you can get your car to the local uh, nearest BMW retailer and have your tires fixed properly. Last but not least, the car is also equipped with comfort access. So the only key you ever need is the one in your pocket. You never have to take it out. You can keep your key in your purse or in the pocket of your jeans or the pocket of your coat and you never have to take it out. You can one touch lock and unlock your BMW. So to lock your car, just tap the top of the handle. Just like that, car is locked. Oh, we forgot to roll the window up. If you actually hold the lock button, it will close all the windows for you. Unfortunately, this does not work for unlocking, but to unlock, just grab the inside of the handle and we get in the car. So there you have it. There's my 2018 BMW M3. A little bit more of in-depth detail on the spec and the model and what all came with my BMW. I'm super happy with it so far. I've been driving it consistently to and from work and it's just a beast. It's so much fun. It's a great driver's car and I truly, truly am impressed. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you guys think of the 2018 M3 and let me know if you're excited to see some modifications done to this car. Like I said at the beginning of the vlog, there are a lot more modifications coming to this car and it's going to be epic 2021 car show season we're coming for you and we're coming strong and we're going to be bringing the beast i can't wait hope you guys enjoyed the vlog today of the main introduction to my bmw m3 thanks for watching Please like comment hit that subscribe button peace